But first tonight, a young New Mexico girl bitten by a rattlesnake, not once but twice, is finally out of the hospital. This is the second run in with the venomous snakes we've heard about recently. Experts say this is the time of year for it. Here's News 13's Emily Younger. Well, Dean Jessica, that young girl Rebecca is about to be in the fourth grade, and after an encounter with the snake, almost a week of her summer was spent in the hospital. When she got out, you might be surprised the first place she went. He's in the very back hiding in the grass. She may be young, but nine year old Rebecca Henry has been through a lot. It hurt and bit me twice. Rebecca was at her uncle's house near Moriarty last week when she heard a bird outside. When she went to go check it out, uh, two steps off the stairs, I got bitten by the rattlesnake. Oh, we think it bit me there and there. Rebecca was immediately airlifted to UNMH. She spent five days there recovering from the wound and dealing with heart problems likely caused by the snake's venom. No, you can't help her, you know, and so you can't get, she's trying to get away from the pain and you can't get, you know, you can't take the pain away. And so it was rough. Even rougher. The idea Rebecca may never feel comfortable in the country again where she lives. We wanted her to realize that it wasn't her fault, but it also wasn't the snake's fault. We're going back into the Rattlesnake Museum. So her parents brought her here to the Rattlesnake Museum in Old Town. Why'd you go there? Um, so I can face my fear of snakes. She came face to face with the same type of snake that bit her. It's a prairie rattlesnake. After that, the museum honored her bravery. And you're going to be the first modern recipient of the Love at First Bite Club certificate. Thank you. She's definitely strong, so that's, we're doing good by raising a strong little girl. Well, Rebecca says she learned a valuable lesson. Watch where you're walking. As for the snake, her uncle took care of it. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Emily. We did some we did do some fi fact finding about rattlesnakes. Experts tell us rattlesnakes are out more because of the warm temperatures and the rain. According to the New Mexico Poison Center, about 75 to 100 people are bitten by rattlesnakes in the state every year. That's not the only rattlesnake encounter recently. A Torrance County man sent us these photos of a rattler inside his home. It happened yesterday when he was leaving for work. He opened his door and there it was. As you can see, a deputy safely removed it. The snake was relocated.